Hey guys, so today we're making some chicken birria. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm going to start by putting my chicken in my Dutch oven. You could also just use a, a large pot. And so I am using drumsticks and thighs for this recipe. And I wanted the ones that have the bone in and the skin on because that is lots of flavor. You could also just use a whole chicken or you can use some chicken breast. Um, and so I just boiled that. And you'll see a lot of this stuff that comes on top of the chicken and just skim that stuff off of there. Um, and I am um, adapting this recipe from another YouTuber. Um, the name of their channel is Views on the Road. And I have used their recipes in the past. So make sure you check out their uh, channel in the description box below. And so next I am just seasoning my chicken with some salt, some pepper, um, I'm gonna keep the seasonings pretty basic for right now because we are gonna add in our chilies. And so these are, this is about eight ancho chilies and then two uh, pasilla chilies. And then I am adding in a bunch of garlic. And so I uh, typically use the guajillo chilies, but I did not have those. And so I just used whatever was in my cabinet. And so, um, but anyway, I'm just adding in some chicken bouillon powder. And that was about three tablespoons worth. And you are going to adjust the seasonings as this continues to cook. And then I'm going to add in one yellow onion. Um, and I'm going to let this boil for about 30 minutes. Um, because you do want those chilies to get nice and tender. And then I added in about four bay leaves. And then maybe two teaspoons of Mexican oregano. I also added in maybe a pinch of ground cloves. You don't want to add too much of that in there. And so after about 30 minutes, I'm going to take my chilies out because they should be nice and tender. Probably a little bit too tender because um, I did let it cook a little bit longer. But I would say check it after about 30 minutes so you can get those chilies out. And I'm also going to grab the garlic and all of, you know, the bay leaves and the, um, some of the onion. And, because we're going to blend that up for our sauce. And so this is what I took out of the pot. And don't be alarmed that your liquid is dark. That is dark because of the chilies, okay? And so I am using um, my Nutra Ninja blender thingy. If you have a blender, just use your blender. And so I'm gonna put all of that goodness in there and then I'm gonna add some of the liquid from the pot and I am gonna blend this up. And so, um, I started blending and then I was like, oh man, I forgot to put the chipotles, um, the chipotle peppers that are in the adobo sauce. And so I took maybe about three or four of those and some of the sauce um, because you want to blend that up into um, this yumminess as well. And so it can be a bit spicy. So if you don't like a lot of spice, don't put as many of those adobo peppers in there. And so you're just going to blend it until it's nice and smooth. You may need to strain it through a mesh strainer in case um, there's like some chunks of pepper in there, depending on how well your blender is able to blend it up. And so I did not have to strain mine because I finally figured it out, y'all. And so the last time I've made like these types of sauces, I didn't uh, cook the chilies enough and I didn't put enough liquid in the blender. So I figured it out, y'all. But anyway, you're going to put whatever you blend it up, um, you're going to put that into the liquid that your chicken was in your chicken should be done um at that point and so i took it out and i shredded it off of the bone and then i just added it to my sauce and so again make sure your chicken is done before you start tasting it so the chicken should probably cook for about 45 50 minutes total um and so i just shredded it up and put it in there and i did end up adding in some cooked uh, chicken breast that I already had because I felt like I didn't have enough chicken. So total it was about two chicken breasts, maybe three thighs and about four uh, drumsticks. And so now um, you just let that simmer for a little bit and it's pretty much done y'all again taste for seasoning. And so I am using some corn tortillas and so I'm doubling the tortillas because sometimes they fall apart. And so I'm just dipping it. Um, into that delicious uh, liquid that we made. And then um, I'm gonna 
brown it on both sides and so i am using mozzarella cheese for this but you can use some mexican cheese if you have that available in your store and then i am just going to add some of that chicken onto our taco or our birria um taco and then i'm adding in some raw onion and some uh, chopped cilantro and this is going to be so delicious you guys this is super easy and so my preference you know between the chicken birria and the beef birria i choose the beef because i feel like it has more flavor but this chicken it came close i will say that it came close i think i just like the fattiness of the beef um but you're gonna um let your um taco get nice and crispy and you're gonna flip it over and that's pretty much it y'all i strained um some of that broth so i can dip my tacos in there and then i topped it off with some yellow onion and some uh cilantro and that was it y'all and so i did get this uh cast iron griddle um i think we got it from walmart i'm not sure but i'll link it in the description box below i probably won't use cast iron for this particular recipe again because i felt like it sticked but anyway this is the finished product you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe make sure you garnish it with some fresh cilantro and some lime juice don't forget the limes y'all but anyway please make sure you like share comment and subscribe bye